What's up guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectibles. Coming at you today with another figure review. So today we've got what I'm especially excited about. We got the new Flash Gordon from NECA Toys. So this is part of their Defenders of the Earth series. You can get this figure as well as the other figures in the wave at Big Bad Toy Store. Head over to Big Bad Toy Store for all your toy needs, whether it's Hasbro, Mafex, Hot Toys, and all the other major brands. They've got it along with $4 flat rate shipping. Click the link in the description to see what BBTS can do to fill that need you have in your collection. So guys, hit that link in the description to head over to Big Bad Toy Store and pre-order this wave if that's something you're interested in. But let's go ahead and let's take a look at the figure itself as well as the packaging. So we've got some pretty nice promotional artwork here of Flash Gordon on the front with his gun that we can see is actually part of the accessories that he comes with. It says with laser blaster, blast effects, and a sword. So pretty cool, really nice packaging here. For the most part, we can see everything that he comes with. Spin around to the side. We do see this is number two in the series. On the back, we can actually see the rest of the figures in this series. So Right now, what is up for pre-order or shipping is our Flash Gordon, the Phantom, and Ming the Merciless. Then we've got Mandrake the Magician and Lothar that'll be coming at a later date. I'm not seeing that those are hitting anywhere. I don't see that they're up for pre-order at this time. Then we have a little bit of a write-up here about Flash Gordon and an image of the figure itself. On this side, we've just got a little bit of Defenders of the Earth promotional art and a picture of the head of Flash Gordon on this figure. Top part of the box just Defenders of Earth. Let's go ahead and crack this guy out of his packaging and see what we got. All right, guys, so we got Flash Gordon out of his packaging and onto our view table, and we got some things to talk about. I will go ahead and say up front, I like the aesthetic. He looks good, but there are some things we need to discuss. Let's go ahead and jump into the accessories first. So we'll start with the weapons. We do get his blaster here, and you can see it has a really nice kind of purplish blue shade to it, almost like a metallic paint with a little bit of uh, like black wash kind of mixed in with that purple. So I like the design of it. The design looks very nice and the paintwork is very nice as well. We also get the sword, which is a huge addition. Kind of a translucent yellow plastic hero for the blade. The hilt is painted up very nicely with some silvers, red accents. Hilt here of it is black here with a little bit of red accent on the bottom. Kind of two tones of silver in there as well, silver and gray. This looks really, really nice. Probably one of the better swords I've seen in a figure uh, of this price range. Something else we're seeing companies do a lot more of are blast effects. So you've got kind of this long range blast effects as well as a kind of a discharge effect here for the gun. So these are pretty simple to use, pretty simple to apply. It just basically fits right on the end of his blaster, just like that. Looks really nice. I've seen some guys do some super cool action figure photography with these blast effects already for Flash Gordon and the Phantom. This one, same concept. You just flip it over the end and it kind of adds more of a long range blast effect with kind of an impact effect here on this end. So it just looks really good. Then we get an array of hands here. So we do get two kind of regular holding hands. See here, these would be for like holding the sword. Not necessarily the gun. The gun will not fit in these very well just because there's no trigger finger on them. And then we do actually get the trigger hand. So or the trigger finger hand. You can see here, it looks nice really set up perfectly for the gun that he came with. And then actually on his body right out of the package, you do see we got two hands that are fist out of package. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this guy up close. Now, one thing I wanna talk about here, the sculpt is very well done on this figure. The paint apps are very well done on this figure. We'll talk about the issue that I have here in a moment as we move down, but let's just take a look at this face. The hair looks phenomenal. They kind of put some yellow with some kind of darker tones of yellow, as well as almost some browner tones kind of up front, just to add a little bit of accent coloring to that hair. This looks phenomenal. I think they really killed this face sculpt and paintwork here on the face. Paint all over this figure. So you can see here on the shoulders, across the traps up top, the musculature here looks excellent. I do believe this may be a reuse of the body molds from maybe like the Superman and Batman figures we got from NECA. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments or confirm in the comments if that's accurate, but it sure looks like them. The belt here is a soft plastic, has his logo here on it. It's painted in black with silver, good all the way around. And moving on down, got those nice black boots. Now, here's what we're gonna talk about. I think overall NECA did a good job, but these joints, see if you see what I see there. They painted the joints black. We've seen this with the NECA line as well, the NECA, TMNT line as well. And this drives me insane. 
you know, these need to be sculpted plastic for the joints because even if it's a different shade of black, I understand it would be hard to match like this glossy black paint that they've used for the boots, but at least it's still in line with being black. So it's not going to be as noticeable. So what's going to happen here over time as you continue to articulate this figure, you're going to see that joint is eventually just going to be red. And that's going to happen on all of them. That includes here. You can see my joint right here. This is already, the pain is literally cracking off on my wrist joint. So I can't really articulate that joint any on that side. And on this side, yeah, look when I articulated it. Look at that. I articulated the joint and you can actually see the paint. Look at that. Just come off on my finger. So, you know, that part is, it's disappointing, but I just don't understand it. You know, I don't understand why they're doing that. Now, this was a $30 figure. You know, this was $29.99. This wasn't a $20 figure like we see with a lot of NECA's figures. So kind of took it up a notch in the price range. You know, I, I kind of expect as prices climb that we get more for our money. And, you know, that, in my opinion, is not necessarily getting more for our money. So so that that is, you know, a flaw of mine. Now, it's not a deal breaker when it's sitting on a shelf. I don't see this going to be super, super noticeable, but it's there. So I want to show you guys so you guys can make an informed decision. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at articulation here. So head goes up or down, head goes up. We can get the confused look both ways, 360, no problem. Get those shoulders up to about right there without much stress. We do have a swivel here in the bicep and a nice double jointed elbow. Okay, we've already taken a look here at the articulation in the wrist. This one we can get to go back and forth. Pretty easy, 360. This one here's a little hung up. We're gonna have to add a little bit of hot water to kind of get this one broke loose. I don't wanna break the peg off. We have a nice ab crunch here. Has kind of a ratchet joint. Doesn't really go back very much. That's as far as we can get it to go back. Spin in the middle, and because the belt is a soft plastic, you can spin it around pretty good. Probably could get a full 360, but I don't want to stress that belt and risk it coming loose here from the plastic. As far as in the legs, we can get out to there with no stress. Forward to about right there. And again, you make it get a little more than this, guys, but I don't want to stress the figure. It is NECA, and, and we don't want to break that plastic because <laughs> I don't know how quick we can find another one of these guys. We got a swivel at the top of the thigh here. Double jointed knees. Get a lot of range of motion there. We get a swivel right at the top of the calf. And then here we get plenty of range of motion in our feet. We get that ankle rocker, no problem. Now I've not been able to, so you can see here, there is toe articulation. I've not been able to break that loose. We're gonna have to try to, you know, get some type of heat or hot water to get that broke loose. I don't want to have to take the figure apart. So it's toe articulation for me in this type of a figure is not that big of a deal. I can work around it. All right, guys. So I just kind of wanted to show you what Flash looks like with his accessories in hand, the hand change outs here. So you can see we got gun in hand. We got the sword. Now the sword is mighty loose in that hand. Uh, you can see that it just spins extremely easy. It moves up in and out of that hand pretty easy. Now the, the bottom of the hilt uh, is kind of larger in diameter, so it's not necessarily going to slide out of his hand. Just something to kind of note, I guess you could say. Now, I want to show you one thing here. I pulled out the wrist, uh, the wrist pegs here. You can see these are the fist hands that we got. But just take a look there at what happened to the pegs. So the pegs originally look this way. So this is one we have not put in yet. This is just one of the grabbing hands. So you can see they painted the peg and all. So when you go to pull that peg out, look how messy that looks. That's, I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. To, to me, for a $29 figure, I know we're not dealing with SH Fig Yards. We're not dealing with Storm Collectibles. We're not dealing with Mezco. It's still a $30 figure. So I feel like paint apps should be a little better than this. I don't feel like we should have these type of QC issues. Now, I'm happy with this figure overall. I'm glad I have him. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the rest of the line because I'm a sucker for 80s nostalgia. So I think this was like a 1986 show. I was a little too young to really watch it at the time, but it is a show that I've watched since the original airing of it. So I'm happy to have him, and it's going to look good on a shelf. But as far as just those little QC issues, they do irk me a little bit. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let's go ahead and bring in some other figures for size comparison. All right, guys, let's go a little bit 80s nuts here. So we got our Super 7 Thundercats Lion-O. We've got our NECA Cartoon Turtle Raphael. We've got our He-Man Classics, MOTU Classics, Trapjaw. 
then we got a Marvel Legend Wolverine figure. So you can see he fits in perfect with the seven inch scale line here of Super 7 and of the Mattel Classic. So he looks fantastic with that. So if you're going with an 80 shelf with those guys, uh, it's gonna be in good hands. So as far as you know, his height here, we're standing just a hair under seven inches. I mean, literally just a hair under seven inches. Kind of give you a little bit of a size comparison of kind of where he may stack up on your shelf. You know, if you're in a seven inch figure line, he's gonna fit right in, no problems whatsoever. Hit that like button, guys. It helps get this video out there for other people to be able to see. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. Would love to have you as part of the Man Cave Collectibles team. And as always, drop those comments down below. What do you think of this figure? What do you think of some of the pain issues that we discussed in the, in the video? Do you have this figure? And if you do, do you see those same type of issues? I have seen a lot of reviews on these guys out there, and it seems to be a trend. But let me know what you guys think. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. Until next time.